Well, good morning. Okay, so I decided to give you guys a little something something today, show you what I'm doing, and maybe it'll give you some ideas if, you know, I don't know. So I don't talk about my children or my husband or my grandchildren very often. This is my channel and their life is their life and their life is private. But for this video, I do have to give you a little bit of background. Okay, so first of all, I am married, um, I don't wanna say his name, blah, blah, blah. Um, Gunnery Sergeant Nelson, USMC retired, permanent disabled veteran. So yeah, um, we've been married for quite a while. Yes, I was an active duty Marine wife. Now I'm a veteran's wife. Um, lots of changes, lots of challenges. And you know, it's all good. It, it's all good. So several, several years ago, I'm guessing 13, 14 years ago, we were back visiting my mom for Christmas. Well, my husband had on a First Marine Division um, sweatshirt, and it had the First Marine Division logo right here. And my mom kept looking at him and looking at him. She looking at him. And my husband finally comes up to me and he says, why is your mom staring at me? I'm like, I don't know, go blow your nose. Maybe you got something up your nose. I don't know. So he walks into the kitchen. Now my mom finally turns around and looks at him and says, I recognize that logo. And he's like, oh, well, that's the first Marine Division logo. And my mom doesn't talk very much about her past, okay? So, and he, so he doesn't know. And my mom says to him, I know what the first Marine Division logo is. My father served with the Marines. He landed at Guadalcanal. I know what the division logo looks like because that's who he served with. Mm. So, then my husband comes and finds me. And he says to me, why didn't you tell me your grandfather was a Marine? Mm -mm. I didn't think it was important. Why didn't you tell me that your grandfather served with the 1st Marine Division? Mm -mm. Didn't think it mattered. Why didn't you tell me your grandfather landed at Guadalcanal? I'm like, dude, dude, he was just my grandfather, okay? He wasn't some big war hero or anything else. He was my grandfather. That's all he was to me, was my grandfather. And so that's been a running, like, joke in our family was, yeah. You know, she didn't even tell me her grandfather was a Marine. Eh, whatever. So, you know, whatever. So we don't celebrate the birthday very much anymore. You know, happy birthday, dude. Yeah, you're good. Okay, this year I decided to break out some candy molds that I probably haven't used in 15 years. Look, so I got this big EGA. Um, now I'm not gonna make this one. This one takes something like a pound and a half of chocolate. Oh, hell no. And when you pop it out, it some parts are really thin, so it breaks. So yeah, it's really not that good of a mold. It's a great mold, but it's a bitch to work with. But look, so I got some of these. Can you guys see the little EGAs? I can't even see which way they're going. Do they go like this? There we go. And then, yeah, some of these molds are super, super old. I don't even know if they make these anymore. And then I've got these. So I think I'm gonna clean these two up and I'm gonna make him some chocolates. I'm gonna surprise him. I'm gonna stick him in his lunchbox after he goes to bed so he'll find them at work tomorrow. Just, you know, you guys should really do something spontaneous for someone once in a while just to make them smile. And a little funny backstory on these is about two months ago, I was actually gonna declutter them. And so I don't know that many active duty wives anymore. So I sent a message to this one that I do know and I said, hey, do you want my Marine Corps candy molds? Bitch never got back to me. Well, she a bitch anyway, but you know, she was the only one I knew. So I was like, okay, whatever, whatever, bitch. Thank you for not taking them and thank you for not responding because 
Now I have a great idea as to how I'm going to surprise him. So I'll show you pictures once all the candy's done. Bye guys. Okay, so I'm using semi-sweet chocolate. Um, I got mine at Aldi's. And then I've got this little crock pot. So, waiting on that to melt. Okay, so I got some chocolate melted. I got one of them already in the freezer. So I'm gonna start on these. Now these are a little bit bigger. But I'm just gonna show y'all real quick what I do. I got my chocolate over here in that little crock pot. Let me just... By the way, these turn out so cute. Um, and these molds, like I said, they're, they're really old. I don't even know if they make them anymore. If anybody is interested in them, I'll be happy to try to give you the SKU number on them. So if you wanna see them, or see if you can order them. You're more than welcome to. So, okay, so I got my, got my chocolate in here. Now I'm just gonna do one for the sake of time just so I can show you. I'll finish these later. I'm gonna move you down just a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing, or I'm gonna try to. Okay, so to level it out, because it's not very level. I just bang it on the counter. And this also brings all the air bubbles up to the top. Now this one, you know, the EGA has a lot of detail. So you wanna make sure, you know, you gotta bang them real good, make sure I get it all the way down in there. Okay, I think that's good. Now I'm going to go get the ones out of the freezer and I'll show you what they look like, the ones that are done. Okay, so these are done. We've got a clean towel here. I'll flip them over. And I just kind of crack them out. I just push on them just a little bit. These molds are really old, so I don't know how long they're gonna hold up to the beatings that they take. Okay, so here they are, the chocolate EGAs. Now you can see I didn't bang this one super good. You can see the air bubbles. But honestly, I don't think he's gonna care. What I'm gonna do is wrap them in foil and then I'll put him on the seat of his truck tonight so he'll have him when he gets up to go to work in the morning with a little note that says happy birthday. Happy birthday, Marines. And at the end of this video, I'll post a picture from the last ball we went to so y'all can see me all decked out. Bye, guys.